hello everyone so today we will make a video about uh, how to uh, read the values from the drive through profibus using the pkw variables so when you add this uh, drive into the profibus network normally we do we add this uh, ppo type so let's add the ppo type so i'll add this you can uh, add anything so I'm using uh, this one so in this uh, you can cl see here itself it has 4 PKW and 6 PZD uh, variables so 6 PZD means I can read 6 inputs from the drive and I can write 6 uh, output to the drives okay and uh, normally you will be wondering what this means so first let me add this so you can see here these are the four pkw and these are the six uh, pzd inputs and six pzd outputs so normally we define the speed uh, status word here speed feedback here then we define the control word here speed refer reference and uh, whatever you want to do, read from the drive so I'm not going to go through this this you can see in my other videos so today we will define what the, this PKW means okay so I'll write uh, uh, I'll define this as uh, PKW input 1 and uh, this one has PKW output 1 ok and uh, And we will go to the program. Okay, so we'll write the program here. So let's say I want to read this uh, DC bus voltage. For reading this, first I need to what I need to notice the group number. So the group number is uh, 1 and the parameter number is 11 and uh, here you can see that I have defined uh, 4 PKW outputs ok so if you want to read this uh, uh, read this uh, DC bus voltage that is group number 1 parameter number 11 what you have to do is like you need to write the hex value of the group number here and the hex value of the parameter number here and you will get the result that is the value of the parameter in pkw input 4 so we will write the program So PKW output one is the uh, hex code of the group number. So first group. Now we need to write uh, PKW output two as the hex code of parameter number. So the parameter number is eleven. So well, so it is B. Hex code of eleven is B. Thank you. 
so now we write the group number and parameter number now as I said I'll get the result from this variable so the DC bus will be equal to so this will be the word ok so now let's run and see so uh, so this is how you read the value using the pkw so as you can see i already get this uh, dc bus voltage okay so if i divide this value by 100 i can get the dc bus voltage as uh, shown in the drive so uh, so let's say you want to read more values so what you have to do is uh, let's log in this so you can already see that when I write the group number and parameter number here I get the value here and also I'm getting some other values over here so this is actually like an acknowledgement uh, for the values that I write here so if I convert this this will be 5001 so if I convert this decimal to hex 20481 204 so uh, and the value that I write is 6001 in hex so the, the acknowledgement will be 5001 and I will get the same uh, uh, hex uh, 0 b00 in uh, input 2 as well so this means that when I write an actual group number and parameter number if the way I write is correct I get an acknowledgement here that 5001 and the same same uh, value I get here so this makes sure that I write something and I received something so we can utilize these two to read more values from the drive so how we can do is like we need to make scale logic like So I write uh, 16 uh, hash 6001 and 16 B then my acknowledgement will be 5001 and the same one. So th if this condition is satisfied then I know that my DC bus voltage is achieved from here. Now let's say you want to read uh, one more variable from the drive. So let's say I will read uh, this one so I'll convert this uh, to hex 31 so hex code of 31 is 1 F
what we are reading is an ambient temperature So what I have done is, uh, so this makes sure that I have the DC bus voltage and uh, once I receive the DC bus voltage I, I will immediately request for a new, uh, new value that is the ambient temperature. That means I am reading, I am asked the drive to read the value from this parameter. So I will receive so once this uh, this logic is executed I will receive the ambient temperature over here then after that if if I need more value then I can continue like this you can write the next uh, hex code and you'll you'll receive that and finally you will have to go back to this so I'll again write the same value to continue the loop so let's run and see I have some error okay okay so now you can see I'm getting the DC bus voltage here and the ambient temperature here so this will work like a loop so if you need more uh, you can by using this logic you can write uh, as many uh, variables you want here like continuation of this and you can make a logic like this so this is how we use the PKW to read multiple uh, values from the drive and uh, uh, so I guess uh, this was clear so thanks for seeing this video have a good day